Let's learn how to create a survey collecting system that sends your user's feedback into a Google form. Uh, before making this video, I saw that many of the tutorials on YouTube were either outdated or unclear in their instruction. So I made the step-by-step -step guide to share my working script. So you will need a basic UI interface with a button and some data storing object to send the feedback to Google form. And the script uses Unity web request to send the information to the Google form. To get the script working, you will need two things, the Google form URL and the Google form question entry code. All right, to find our Google form URL, let's go to our form that we have created earlier. So you can easily create a Google form in your Google drive. Now from here, click on the send button and click on this link. So copy this link and please open up a new tab, copy and paste the link and go here. And from here, we can right click and go to the inspect function. And now from here, we can do command F to find uh, what we need. So form response. Now, as you can see over here, we have our link, which is the little text between the parentheses. So copy that and paste it. Now, in order to get our entry code right here, let's go back to our Google form that we have made earlier. So click on the three little dots on the right and click on get prefilled link. And from here, we'll be using the inspect function again. Now what we'll be looking for will be a little different. So type in code, oh, entry dots. And as you can see here, there's a little uh, code that gets highlighted. And if you have many question boxes, please check to see whether these entry codes correspond to each individual question. So in this case, we only have one question box, so we only have one entry code. So all you have to do is simply copy and paste. So after our user presses the send feedback button, it will start our method and our coroutine. And this will send our string data to our entry. Okay, so I made a random game object called script runner and I put our script over here. Now let's put our input field and link it to here. And finally, let's go to our button and let's link our object that we created earlier to our button. From here, we select survey and let's call on the send method so that whenever we press this button, it activates this method. So let's test our code. So uh, we can just add in any random text. So hello world and let's submit this. All right, let's check our responses. So as you can see, our feedback has come to our Google form. Going back to our code, I recommend that you study this code a little more so that you can figure out what's happening here. And you can also modify it for your own uses. So let's go back to our Google form. You can create more questions here and also get the entry codes for each of these questions and you can put them over here so that you can send various responses. You can also create a toggle and send the data from these toggle in a similar way. Going back to our Google form, in order to get a better view of our collected responses, you can create a Google Sheet that is linked to our form. So there you go, we have our timestamp and the individual user feedback. Going back to the toggle, you can use the toggle like this.
and it shows up to our Google form. About the code, I merely changed the toggle data into string data over here, and I sent that into our Google form. Now all this code will be linked in the video description.